All right, well, if you have a Ford F-150, uh, anything modern, um, you know, 2009, 2014, this is likely for other years. This is my 2010 FX4 uh, F-150, and what I'm doing is resetting the PCM. Uh, I've had some rough shifting, and it uh, uh, seemed kind of weird, everything was shifting kind of out of sync, not necessarily where it should have been. So to reset that PCM, which you want to do anytime there's any major work done uh, on these trucks, um, I don't know the history, uh, but uh, I'm going to try this anyway. So what you do is to determine if that is your issue, uh, you have a, what is it, like a, a hauling mode? Um, click that hauling mode button on your shifter there and if the truck runs better uh, and shifts better then it's likely your issue so something I'm certainly going to try first so to do this you disconnect your uh, battery uh, on the um, negative side first and then you go inside And you turn your headlights on. And then set a timer for 30 minutes. All right, so um, my timer just went off. Uh, I didn't have one of those terminal cleaners, which I'm confused about because I've bought at least 25 of those. Can't find a one. You know how that is. So while you're in there, you might as well clean up your terminal uh, before reconnecting. So on my 2010, uh, this is an 8mm socket, and I took a knife and just kind of scraped off some, some nastiness. Tried to clear that up a little bit. Metal on metal is best. So I got that good and tight. And now what you want to do is uh, go over and you... Just turn your key over to accessory for about 10 seconds. All right, so my truck is at operating temperature and now just gonna take it for a drive. Uh, drive like a cop is behind you. You wanna make complete stops. Uh, you wanna just, you know, drive the speed limit. Uh, don't hot rod it because like I said, the, the, the brain needs to uh, recalibrate uh, your, or basically relearn your driving techniques. Um, so we're just going to uh, back out of the driveway here. Dang, I think already I can tell. And uh, they say, you know, this, this may go on for a couple days um, as you put miles on your truck. So we'll We'll just go out, throw a few miles on it, see how it works. So, so far, so far I feel a difference. Uh, the reason why I did this was uh, when I would come to a stop sign, it, is, uh, it was as if my transmission wouldn't downshift until I was at about one or two miles an hour and then it would downshift from all the uh, gears so it'd be bam 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 um, kind of weird yeah that's completely gone now so um, you know like I said just drive real cool uh, let that computer relearn your habits uh, this is often something that is caused by Let's say you bought a used truck and they hauled a horse trailer or motorcycles or, or a boat. Uh, naturally, that transmission is going to uh, shift differently. Um, you know, when these trucks are, are new, the memory uh, learns that driver's driving techniques. And then, well, years later, uh, you come along and you buy that truck and it need needs to learn your techniques. So already I can tell this thing is shifting nicer. 
a uh, little smoother. I'm not at uh, typically I'd be at like 2,000 RP or under 2,000 RPM in any year unless I was on the highway. So it seemed to always advance um, sooner than it needed to. But uh, anyway, if your transmission is wacky and your F-150, uh, try that before you go and dump a bunch of money in it. Get a new transmission. Thanks for watching.